So question five. Hossam has saved $7,520 towards his goal of traveling overseas. Uh, let's just say he saved that. He wants to put this amount into a new savings account and continue saving over the next two years. Uh, Hossam has identified two possible accounts to choose from. Account one offers an interest rate of 3.8% per annum, compounded monthly. Uh, account two is a flat interest, well that's, in, that's important, of 4% per annum over two years. Uh, which account one or two would give a better return? Show working to support your answer. I think the easiest way to do this would be just to calculate how much money you're going to have after two years. So let's do that. Um, account one. Uh, let's just do the, through the formula. So future value. I mean, you could do it via the calculator if you wanted. Um, but it'll be present value multiply y1 plus i uh, over k to the power of kn. Now, here my future value, my present value is 7520. Uh, multiplied by 1 plus my interest rate of 0 0.038. 0 0.038. All divided by its compounding monthly, so k is 12. Uh, k is 12 multiplied by n, which was two years. And now you just basically put this in the calculator. So future value will be uh, 7520 times 1 plus, uh, I don't know why I did it this way, 0 0.038, 12 the power of 24. So that'll be approximately, oops, not the dollar sign, please. Uh, 8112.82, like that. And then account two, so account two. So the key thing with this question, I think, is identifying that one of them is going to be simple interest and one of them is going to be compound interest. If you use compound interest in them both, you're not going to get the right answer. If you use simple interest in them both, you're not going to get the right answer. So simple interest formula, it's I equals PRT. So the principal was 7520 times the interest rate of 0 0.038 times the time, which was two years. Uh, so therefore the interest is going to be uh, 7520 times 0 0.038 times 2 which is going to be 571.52 and I've just realized I've used the wrong interest rate value Four percent is my interest rate, so zero point zero four. Uh, so let's just quickly go and change that. So it'll be six o one point six zero. Then your uh, what am I doing? That's my interest. So my future value. So future value will equal my present value. So seven five two zero plus the six o one point six zero. So therefore the future value will equal uh, 8121.60 and now you compare it. So this one here suggests that account two will give the better return. So therefore accounts two would give the better return over two years. All right, so Hossam has decided not to um, invest in account one or account two. Instead, he invests uh, in uh, invest the 7520 into account 3, which pays, so this amount, which pays 4.3% interest, 
Compounded weekly. Um, he makes deposits of $40, so weekly deposits of $40 into the account. Show that Hossam will have earned approximately $860 in interest in account three after two years. This is where I would be bringing back up the uh, TMB solver. So this is the N, the I, the PV, the PMT, the FV, the P slash Y, and the C slash Y. Now, my N, still two years, isn't it? Yeah, two years. So we two multiply by how often is this compounding? It's compounded weekly, so it's 52. The interest rate is 4.3%. My present value is 7,520. It'll be a negative here because I'm putting it into the account. So 7520. My PMT will be negative 40 because I'm also putting that in. My future value, that's what I'm calculating. My PY is weekly, so 52. And I am putting this weekly, aren't I? Yeah. And CY is also weekly, so that'll be 52. So then I'm looking for my future value. Uh, so 2 by 52, 4.3, negative 7520, negative 40, uh, 52 and 52. So let's solve for that. So we approximately 12,537.29. Uh, now this is my future value. So now to work out the interest. So the interest will be equal to, um, I'm using an approximate value, so it'll be this value just here, that 12537.29. Subtract my initial amount, so 7520, as well as how much I've put in over that time, so the $40 by uh, my N, so two by 52 like that so it'll be my 12 5 3 7 subtract 7 5 2 0 plus 40 times 2 times 52 so therefore so therefore the interest is approximately equal to uh, eight hundred and fifty seven dollars like that which is approximately eight hundred and sixty so that looks about right calculate the amount Hossam will have to pay in tax on his earnings from account three if his marginal tax rate is 32.5 percent so tax if you didn't get this answer, by the way, you should be using the answer that's here. And if you didn't get close to this answer, I'd also be using this answer. Because I got close, I'm assuming that I got the right answer here, so I'll use the one that I had. So my tax will be, it will be my 0 0.325 multiplied by that amount, so 857. Like I said, because this appears like I've got the right amount, I'm gonna use it. If I didn't, I would use this amount just here. So therefore, uh, the marginal tax or the tax will equal uh, 0.325 multiplied by 857. So it'll be approximately 278.53. State one assumption, apart from the interest rate remaining constant, that is being made when doing calculations in part BI and BII and discuss its possible effects on the results. So let's think about this. Um, a big assumption is he's able to maintain $40, uh, weekly deposits for $40. So that's the one I'm gonna go for. Um, a, so one is that, what's his name? Hossum, Hossum. Uh, can maintain weekly Deposits of $40 given 
Um, here's financial situation, financial circumstances, financial circumstances. And then I've got to be specific. So I'll probably only one. The other one's saying it's possible effects on the results. If he's not, if he is not, he will earn less interest and will take longer to reach whatever his target amount is. So you can see here I'm giving a two-step answer to this. It's saying what one of the assumptions are. There are more than one. Um, but the second big kicker for the mark is being specific about well, what is the actual effect of this assumption, um, which is looking at, okay, what if it, if he can't maintain it, what's gonna happen? All right, so that's question five. Mm -hmm.